Uh, Ivan, have you been able to get any access to unofficial versions of events on the ground there? I mean, uh, a year ago when there was a lot of uh, unrest in Tehran, uh, a lot of the information was coming out uh, electronically. Absolutely. Over here on the Iran desk, let's take a look at Sarah. She's looking at some of the uh, protest video that's come out, uh, smuggled out basically over the internet. You see hundreds of people gathered here. They've been chanting things like death to the dictator, uh, down with uh, Hamanayi, the supreme leader of Iran, taking immense risks. Let's take another uh, look at some other video shot in the subway stations in Tehran today. And you can see people in this video going down into the subway stations, chanting as well. They have to cover their faces as they surreptitiously film each other in these cases because there have been thousands of arrests over the past eight months of opposition activists. And two weeks ago, the executions of two opposition activists, 10 more waiting on Iran's death row right now, Andrew. Let's show another video that we've seen smuggled out today. Uh, it is an image of people attacking, uh, video of people attacking the image of the Supreme Leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, breaking a huge taboo. You see them tearing down the sign and then jumping and stamping on the sign while at the state-sponsored rally that we saw today, we had images of Iranians walking on the American flag. So two diametrically opposed uh, images coming out of this day, one state controlled, the other uh, the opposition uh, who have been targeted by the security forces heavily today. We spoke with the son of one of the opposition leaders, Mehdi Kerubi. Uh, the son says his father is being treated right now for tear gas burns after his car was attacked by pro-government militia and one of the other brothers was arrested. Andrew? Ivan, thanks so much for that. And Ivan and uh, his team on the Iran desk will continue to monitor uh, that video coming in to us here on exactly what's happening in Tehran. I